Hello everyone, and welcome to another game of World of Warships. Today's replay is from Valkyrie, and he's in the Des Moines at tier 10 US Cruiser. He's on the map loop, it's an arms race game, pure tier 10, no carrier, one sub, one raider. I guess the Minotaur could also be a possible raider. Also, he's divisioned with Rook in the Shimakaze and myself in the Somers. Now I'm going on the left flank to grab the buffs there, and Rook here is staying in the center. Now we've already seen the Minotaur. And it's full broadside. So armor piercing is loaded. Off go the shells. The Minotaur is trying to smoke up. So at least we know it's not radar. And you know. That Minotaur is so getting radar. <laughs> so the Minotaur is getting radar. Meanwhile we've also seen that the daring is just yoloing into center to grabbing this buff. This is a very risky move to be honest. But good for the daring. We don't really have that much firepower around. So it's getting away with it, which is a bit sad. What's also sad is that the Minotaur managed to escape, despite being caught full broadside in a raider, because I don't think the friendly team really shot it, except for Valkyrie. Torpedoes, direct front. Torpedoes oh, uh, that's, uh, that's a lot of fish Torpedoes, there. <laughs> front. So Valkyrie is going to reverse here. He is, I think, running the legendary Torpedoes, module again. And... That, that maneuverability is going to come Torpedoes in handy, I feel. Front. So, I think it's going to be one. Torpedoes is it one? Direct front. Yeah, the mine's slightly Torpedoes too fast. So, one, but hey, it could have been a lot worse. And I mean, he has heals. Keep in mind, this is also arms race. So if he can get a health frag buff, solved, he's sir. able to recover everything. There is even a health frag buff spawning there on the right flank, but we don't really have ships there to, to contest it. That's a bit of a shame that our ships there on the right flank are a little bit as if it looks like. Now Valkyrie is gonna peek around this island here, trying to shoot the gearing Torpedoes that is currently detected and uh, daring. And the daring is trying to retreat here, also trying to smoke up. That's probably not helpful because I suppose Rook is spotting it from over here. And for some reason now the Des Moines is pushing. Valkyrie is briefly considering shooting the Des Moines, but making sure the gear doesn't escape is more important. Unfortunately, the game has switched his uh, highlights to the Des Moines, so the ships all went elsewhere and the daring escapes. Also very unfortunate, Rook got detonated. Hey, at least he got flags. Oh no, wait, he doesn't. <laughs> Uh, that was unfortunate. Meanwhile, the Minotaur is once again in the open and once again survives. Also, by the way, you see there were just some line torps coming and Rook's uh, sinking ship has basically blocked them, therefore protecting Valkyrie. At least some good news, I guess. Also, the enemy demon is getting wrecked. That's also good news, I suppose. Meanwhile, the Minotaur is escaping. I'm currently going for the reload buff, so that's nice that gives us another buff there. Valkyrie is detected by something. Now, the, the Daring Escape is possibly going to be a problem somewhere along the line. We do have a sub here creeping around in the center. Now, the sub could... Actually, subs are very good at taking buffs in this game mode, because unlike a capture point, you can basically take a buff instantly, right? So a sub can go in, diving, completely safe, and then just briefly surface, instantly grab the buff and dive again. Not that subs would actually use that power, but you know, subs technically would be very good at grabbing buffs. Now, there is a lot of... Uh, Fire coming from that smoke screen. Is that the, the, that's probably the daring, right? I mean, we know that the Minotaur is there. Daring should be there. There isn't really much else that's missing from detection right now. Of course, the blind shells in the end got a fire, and that fire might even be for Valkyrie's detected. So he's trying to radar to see what's going on, and he's found the Minotaur. Unfortunately, I don't think somebody has shots at the Minotaur. This Minotaur gets away with so much, it's kind of sad. Meanwhile, the friendly team is uh, interestingly positioned at the sides. 
So the health buff here has spawned, for example the submarine could now easily go in and grab it, but it's not really going down that route. Valkyrie wouldn't survive that. Oh, but Valkyrie has hydroed a submarine. So let's just have a look what's going on over there. Meanwhile, over here, we can see the submarine Torpedoes that's been uh, hydroed by Valkyrie briefly, obviously just dives. Torpedoes, and, uh, well, if a submarine dives, you can't, uh, can't hydro it. So I'm going to try to go in there with depth charges. I'm uh, also dropping a smoke screen because I'm detected. And I'm getting a few depth shots. It's in here. Of course I have no longer any... Oh, it looks like the submarine went here. You see, I went directly over the submarine, but submarines are... Well, a bit more maneuverable than... Uh, and destroyers. So it just, you know, turned away and is now perfectly safe. Now, speaking of things perfectly safe, that Xinyan was not. <laughs> so yeah, this submarine is now away. I have absolutely no tools to detect it. There is nothing I can do. There is nothing Valkyrie can do. And speaking of Valkyrie, let's jump back to Valkyrie. Meanwhile, Valkyrie doesn't have any real targets around here. Also, it's not going so well for us overall. We are one ship behind. So Valkyrie has decided to potentially go grab the reload buff. He's going to grab the reload buff, right? And then going to the other side and seeing what he can do there. There are some Forbes on the way. Yeah, he's got the reload buff. Good news for us. We don't know where the gearing currently is. It might just be going for one of the buffs here. As I've mentioned in earlier videos, in arms race, the center is very vital. Once the center spawns, it produces like 10 points every two seconds for the team that holds it. Now, no team holds it right now because both teams are contesting it, but you really have to make sure that you don't give up the center. Now, this is a decent spot. He's still inside the main cap and he can potentially radar ambush some destroyers. So he's found the gearing and the daring. First salvo against the gearing because the daring was still behind an island and now he switches to the lower health ship that daring needs to be dealt with remember the daring that escaped potentially because the game locked onto the rock okay. but this time this time it's probably going down the ship is now the fire. problem here is those destroyers might have uh, torpedoed the crew is currently undetected that's nice and as much as it might like to continue shooting that gearing He's decided that he needs to be torpedo safe. Right. Both gearing and daring might have unleashed insane amounts of fish into this gap. There was also the Hindenburg starting to shoot during the end. Problem now Valkyrie has to kind of maneuver out of this island. But at the same time, he uh, wants to make sure that he isn't reversing enough to, to get torpedoed. So it's... Uh, Complicated process. <laughs> Speaking of complications, now there is a Minotaur rushing in. That's a problem. Now the friendly sub seems to be running out of dive capacity. And seems to be getting wrecked by that Minotaur. Which uh, shouldn't happen, but it is happening. Now Valkyrie is a bit stuck here. And the Minotaur could do a lot of damage there with its armor piercing because Valkyrie can't currently anchor. The Minotaur, on the other hand, while it's smoking up, it was sort of angled. Now it is turning broadside. Then again, it's disappearing as smoke. Now Valkyrie is also invisible. So. Oh, that worked. <laughs> oh, yeah, that worked. The friendly sub has been destroyed. But, you know, uh, the Minotaur was as well. And now Valkyrie has to maneuver out of this. Okay, let, let, let me unlock the camera here. Let's see how Valkyrie does. And let's speed this up because this, let's, let's be honest, this could take a while. <laughs> so Valkyrie is trying to escape this island desperately. And is he going to manage? Yes, yes, yes. Good job, Valkyrie. Unfortunately, meanwhile, I was... Uh, oh, 
of the island his one last grab from the island but Valkyrie is escaping so meanwhile I was taken out by the sub the sub came around the corner and nose stopped me and it was unfortunate so there is only Valkyrie and the Napoli left the Napoli is very far out of position right now which is a shame Valkyrie is detected so he's popping a radar and he's found the Halland nice okay Halland is full health but keep in mind we do have a damage increase buff well, two actually and two reload buffs so the Moin gun power is even more scary right now so Valkyrie is multitasking he's dropping some depth charges onto that sub while uh, trying to keep shooting the Halland of course you have to fight the UI a little bit because zooming in and out and you know, switching to the planes is always a bit weird. But anyway, the, the radar ran out, but he's, he got lucky by setting a fire and that fire uh, increased the detection of the Halland. The Halland doesn't seem to have a damage gun ready, so while the Halland almost disappeared, the fire kept it spotted. And now there is even a double fire. Well, goodbye. <laughs> okay, that, that was a good lucky break there. Now Valkyrie is being hydroed. That means the Hindenburg is actually pushing in. Which is unfortunate because there is also the submarine coming, right? The submarine could be coming around this corner at any point. And uh, there is the ping. There are the troops. Yeah, the subs coming around here. Valkyrie is trying to charge it there. Now Hydro is running out. That's a problem because Hydro can well Hydro can detect the submarine when it's diving still at two kilometers. That could be helpful. What's not so helpful is the Tinten book coming around here. Now a Des Moines has most of its guns in the front, meaning if you just angle directly away. You don't really have the firepower yeah, that's needed. Keep in mind that is a much more healthy Hindenburg than Valkyrie is. So Valkyrie really needs to use all of his guns there. So he has to be careful. I mean, if he's overangling, he risks getting Citadel. But he, if he's just turning away, he can't use his gun power. Now the Hindenburg is also going to top potentially. Hindenburg is overextending a bit of the side, so armor piercing it is. Ooh, that was a good salvo, and the hidden book goes down. <laughs> now there is a high caliber. Keep in mind, the sub is still just around the corner. There's just no way to detect it. For all we know, the sub's like two kilometers that way. So, uh, RPF is actually tracking the sub, mind you, so it's not diving, but... Oh, there it is. F charts are going off. He's up. Well, Torpedoes didn't quite have the angle, but it's also spotting, I guess. F charge has got a hit in. Sub is. Oh, sub has been taken out by the Napoli. So it turns out the sub decided to not go after Valkyrie, but the Napoli instead. The spotting in itself, though, was a problem because the gearing has shots. Now, I'm afraid this is a. Uh, Relatively healthy gearing. So it's still four, four and a half minutes about left. The friendlies do have more points right now. Well, they have one more ship. But Welker is pressed very low. Now the gearing is realizing that and is using its shells. Valkyrie is out of heals, but there is one health frag buff. Now, unfortunately, it's only one. The enemy has all three. Oh, and there are some troops coming. Is the Napoli gonna survive this? Well, it took one. Oh, and it's flooding. Okay, so it's flooding. It doesn't look like it has a damage con ready. I mean, it might have damage con earlier against the sub -torps. I'm not sure if there was a hit to it. So, this is bad. Keep in mind that gearing is... A lot healthier than those guys. <laughs> and again, the Napoli and the Moin have more firepower. And now here comes the Hydro. Thanks to the Hydro, the friendlies now can see exactly where the gearing is and might be able to dodge a top or two. Then again, at this range, 
It's three minutes remaining, right? So, the friendlies are gonna split up in hopes to catch the gearing. But keep in mind that the gearing could even potentially win a gunfight. Now, that's a very nice salvo there. The gearing is not really shooting back here. That's good news. Okay, it looks like the gearing is going after the Napoli. That... I mean, the gearing is now on half health. The Napoli might... Napoli's not shooting. Napoli's topping instead. Come on, shoot it. Shoot it, Napoli. Shoot it. Kill it. There we go. Uh, honestly, I think it was mostly the Napoli secondaries that did the work there. <laughs> At least Napoli has good secondaries, right? Uh, so this, this was a close one. And... Valkyrie had a monster of a game with 4,354 base experience. Unfortunately, not quite a Kraken. We couldn't get the, the sub or the gearing there in the end. But, you know, the Kraken might have eluded him. But, very nice game and very hard carried on the end from Valkyrie. So, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. And I'll see you next time.